Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I installed a house window into my cargo trailer. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in a future recording that you'll see in a little bit is that whenever I took my pry bar and beat it between the stud and the aluminum, that you want to make sure that you're beating your, your pry bar where you know your window is going to be at because that is going to leave a bunch of dents in your aluminum and like in the skin of your trailer. So that's just something you want to keep in mind if you're going to do something like I did. All right, so what I did there was I took my pry bar and just had to get a spot here loosened up. That way I could get my handsaw in here and cut this caulking away from the stud so that I can take a piece of plywood and just press it back, hold it away from the stud. That way when I take my grinder and cut through the stud, I won't actually cut through the aluminum here, and that's what I'm going for right now. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking an oscillating tool and cutting out the bottom corner of my window, and then I'm going to take my snips and cut out the rest of it. You could use the oscillating tool to cut out the whole window, but I find that leaves a bunch of burrs around, so with the snips you don't really leave any burrs and that's just the way I decided to do it. There's nothing against going the other way. That's just what I decided. So I've got the framing for this window installed. I wanted to keep the window as close to this here shower as possible, this wall right here, right there. So I had to rip down this 2x4 uh, down to an inch and a half, and I notched it to where the back side of this goes inside the stud. It's hard to see in the video, but I notched back in there so that whenever I put on the wooden, or the the window trim on the outside, it has something to screw onto because it's spaced out just perfectly to where if I don't put a piece of wood back in here no, it doesn't catch anything and it just sits down loose because that's what happened in the last window. Um, up here, I did the same thing with the header. I notched it into the back into the metal stud. Probably didn't have to do that, but I did anyway. Uh, right here, normally you'd put that, uh, this 2x4 standing upright go up all the way to the ceiling and then have your jack stud, the header sit on the jack stud. But right here, this uh, 2x4 is going to go up and it's going to hit the truss and I didn't have a good way to attach it. So I figured I would just make a little cutout piece in it and it would kind of hold the, uh, the jack stud in there better. Uh, I guess, I think it should work. I don't know why it wouldn't. And then down on the bottom, I put in these two boards to just keep this jack stud centered. I couldn't really screw through the wall of that because then there would just be a screw out in the open. So that was how I decided to keep the, the stud in the right place. Um, before there was a, another metal stud uh, right here, but it really wasn't doing anything. It's not spaced 16 on center. I think it was the main support for going over top of this here. Um, wheel well, but since I cut through it, it's kind of pointless to have it in there, so I just took it out, and we don't need it anymore. So, that's as far as I am now. Next thing I'm going to do is take some Nova Seal and wrap it all around the 2x4s and 2x10s, so it doesn't rot out the 2x's. So, I'll come back whenever I've got that all done. So, here you can see a better look at what I was talking about earlier. So right here, let me get my finger here, right here is where this metal studs are, and then this is back behind it. This is what the uh, Trex decking, the window trim, is gonna screw against. Uh, down here at the bottom, so right down here at the bottom here, this part right here sticks down below here. There's a little gap little ledge right here and so it'll stick down inside the hole and it'll hit on the floor on the on the bottom down there 
and then also rest up against here just for some extra support uh, as you can see I can have that I got that notched all the way up and onto the header and then also on the other side I just figured it was easier if for you guys to understand if I could you know put it take it apart and let you actually see it I know that would probably help me if I was watching this video so yeah that's what the all the framing looks like when it's put together just not on the wall so it's been a few weeks since I recorded this video and going back and editing it edit so it's been a few weeks since I recorded this video and going back and editing it now uh, I'm kind of surprised that after I just put that header in pushed it up and walked away it's like I knew it was gonna fit I mean I did test it out before but I don't know, I'm just kind of surprised that I trusted myself to do that without it coming back down and hitting me. Um, I just thought that was funny. Uh, for the next, I don't know, minute or two, you're just going to see a time lapse of me finishing, putting in all this framing, and then going outside and actually installing the window. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. You can kind of see what I did, kind of see what I did, and then I'll come back whenever I'm going to put the trim on at the last last minute or so of the video. So. If you've made it this far, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. One thing that I forgot to mention is that if you're going to install a house window in your trailer like this, um, your window, if it's the double pane window, it could break the seal between the two and you could end up with condensation between your glasses. So what I'm going to do to prevent this is I'm going to take out the glass and replace it with plywood whenever I'm traveling. I don't plan on traveling with it all the time or very often. That's just one thing that you need to consider if you're going to put a house window in your trailer like I did. So yeah.
here's the window after I got all the trim on it and it's all done. Um, I didn't record putting the trim on, but I, whenever I got these pieces, uh, they were just cut off pieces and I didn't have enough, like didn't have enough length to go from the top to the bottom. So I got them in two pieces. So what I did was the bottom piece sticks under at a 45 like that. That way any rain will just shed right off. And then I did the same thing for the bottom down here. So whenever you're driving, if it's rain, if it's raining, the rain will just, you know, fly off as you're going. And yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, it's not that difficult. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, so that's about it.